Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you 10 pearls about hypothyroidism. As you all know, hypothyroidism is a common disease affecting 4 people out of 1000 every year. Women are more commonly affected than men. And if it is left, left untreated, it is disastrous, leading to heart failure and dementia. But with treatment, the prognosis is excellent. Here are a few pearls which will not only help you in an exam, but also in clinical practice. Tip number one is, subclinical hypothyroidism is raised thyroid stimulating hormone, but normal T3, T4 and lack of symptoms. It needs no treatment, but it should be treated if thyroid stimulating hormone is more than 10, if there is previous treatment of uh, Graves disease, if there is presence of thyroid autoantibodies, and if there is presence of organ specific autoimmune diseases like diabetes mellitus, type 1, which LIGO, pernicious anemia, because these patients are likely to develop clinical hypothyroidism. Tip number 2 is, as the disease is insidious, both you and your patient may not realize that anything is wrong. So have a very low threshold for doing thyroid function tests, especially in women who are more than 40 years of age. Tip number 3 is dyslipidemia and macrocytic anemia commonly occurs with hypothyroidism, so do a lipid profile and blood counts in these patients. Pearl number four is primary autoimmune hypothyroidism is commonest etiology. So it can be either primary atropic hypothyroidism, which is commoner, or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Pearl number five is in women aged 60 to 70 years, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is commoner cause of hypothyroidism. Pearl number six. Start thyroxine in low dose in elderly and patients of coronary artery disease to avoid precipitation of angina. So, a typical dose should be uh, to start with 25 microgram per day and increase dose in 25 microgram increments on monthly intervals. Tip number 7 is after adjusting the thyroxine dose, wait for at least 4 weeks before repeating thyroid function test to see if the dose change is right. Pearl number 8 is thyroid stimulating hormone levels vary during the day so during monitoring try to repeat the test at same time as you have done it before tsh drops at 2 pm and it is 30 percent higher during darkness tip number nine iodine content in imidoron can lead to inhibition of t4 release leading to hypothyroidism so do a six monthly screening with thyroid function test in a patient taking imidoron to rule out hypothyroidism and the last tip Mixed edema masks the commonly associated Addison's disease, so in the emergency situation, add steroids to thyroid hormones until adrenal cortical insufficiency is excluded.